Earth is the only planet in our solar system to have life on it, meaning having appropriate conditions for living, that is, atmosphere, gravity, water, sunlight, etc. Earth has only one moon, Luna. It takes around 29 days to revolve around Earth, and Earth takes about 365 days to revolve around the Sun. About 71% of the surface of Earth is covered with water. Because of this, it is also known as the Blue Planet. Because of all these perfect conditions, Earth is home to billions of species of organisms who change the surface of the Earth greatly. For example, early cyanobacteria changed the air and gave it oxygen which in turn triggered evolution and gave rise to many other species. While some perished, some new appeared. All this gave rise to the biosphere. Biosphere is a region which supports life. Earth is a rocky planet and it is blessed with around 110 elements which constitute it. There is a great variety of landforms in Earth, like mountains, plains, plateaus, and many more. The continents we see today happen to be a great landmass called the Gondwana land. Due to movement of tectonic plates, the land got divided into what we call as continents. All these features can be called as a miracle or coincidence which makes our Earth a perfect planet. The various fields categorized under Earth science are geography, soil study, hydrology, meteorology, climatology, and oceanography. Now, a few of them will be explained. Climatology. It is the study of climate. This modern field of study is regarded as a branch of the atmospheric science. Climatology now includes aspects of oceanography and biogeochemistry. Oceanography is the study of physical and biological aspects of the ocean. It is the earth science covering a wide range of topics including ecosystem and dynamics. Ocean currents waves, etc. These diverse topics reflect multiple disciplines that oceanographers blend to further knowledge of the ocean world and understanding of the processes within. Science, Earth science, is not just about and it's not just restricted to these branches but have gone much deep far beyond our imagination. A major part of this is unexplored which makes it interesting and a critical subject.